Hey, I'm Aaron Mardigan. I'm the executive chef here at Wolfgang Puck American Grill, the Borgata Hotel, Casino, and Spa. And it's autumn right now. So, right, everyone's going pumpkin crazy, right? There's pumpkin this and pumpkin that. Well, one of our favorite recipes to cook this time of year is our pumpkin soup. We make it every year and the guests cannot wait for it. It's really not that difficult to make. You're going to really enjoy this recipe. Okay, so to get started, we're going to use two different kinds of squashes that are in season right now. We're going to use a kabocha squash and a butternut squash. You need a nice strong knife. You're going to go right down the center. And they're going to do the same thing with the butternut now. So what we're going to do is scoop out all of the, uh, the pumpkin guts. Okay, so now you need a deep roasting pan where you can fit this squash in. We're going to put it in with the cavity side facing up. And we're going to add some spices and some herbs to them. I have sage. I got a little rosemary. Uh, cinnamon stick. I like to break them to release the aroma. This is fresh nutmeg. Just a couple of swipes on a grater right on top of the squash. We're gonna do some brown sugar right inside the cavity here. One little piece of butter inside of each one. We're just gonna add a little bit of water. Now this water is important now. This is gonna create a pumpkin stock for us to make the soup with. All right, now we're ready to go in the oven with this. We're gonna cover it with some parchment paper and some aluminum foil. Put it in the oven at 350 for about two hours and then we're gonna check on it and it should be ready to go. All right, let's check it out, it should be ready to go. Oh my God, it smells like uh, Thanksgiving or something. I'm gonna pull a plate over here and show you. Make sure we don't get any skin, but look how beautiful that is. Nice and soft, perfect for our soup. Same with the kabocha. So we're gonna scoop all that out and hold that and then we're gonna start cooking our soup in a pot. We're gonna add a little butter. So we can let that butter brown a little bit because it's autumn. I'm gonna add some coarsely chopped white onion here. So we wanna get the sweetness out of the onion and have it cooked all the way till it's translucent. All right, so look, our onions are nice and translucent and they're even a little bit caramelized, which is really great. So we're gonna add our cooked squash now. It even has a little bit of water and that's all natural flavor from the squash and that's totally fine. We created a pumpkin stock in the pan when we cooked it and that's what this is and it has all the flavor from the pumpkin. Of course, we're gonna add a little salt, a little bit of pepper. I also have some ground cardamom. Just gonna use a little bit of that because it's pretty strong. A little more cinnamon and simmer for about, I would say about 45 minutes to an hour and let everything incorporate together. All right, looks like we're ready to blend this up and finish it off. All right, get that mixture right into the blender here. Now, if you have a low setting on your, on your blender, that's the best way. You don't want it to go flying everywhere. Cover it up. I always give it a little pulse there to make it start slow. But we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of heavy cream. It's gonna smooth things out a little bit and it's gonna, it's gonna bring everything together and balance everything, which is really what you're looking for. Now we're gonna get a nice fine strainer and then just press it through very carefully with the ladle. All right, so our soup is all finished and now we're gonna serve it. So I have a nice soup bowl here. We're just gonna ladle some right in. Now, whatever you wanna put on top to garnish is up to you. We like to use a little bit of creme fraiche, just some plain creme fraiche and we make a little cranberry and apple relish. Goes really, really nicely with it. We serve it like that in the restaurant. And a fried sage leaf. Well, that's our pumpkin soup that we make here at Wolfgang Puck American Grill every fall. Try this recipe at home. I know you can make it really well. It's not that difficult. See you soon at the Borgata.